Hi, I'm April Davis, matchmaker and dating coach with LumaSearch.com. When you like someone, it's easy to look past red flags and think you could just work through it. But once all that lust and excitement wears off, a person's values are who you are really with. For example, if you go to church and believe in God, it's probably going to be a problem dating someone who doesn't believe and is maybe even anti-religious. This will especially become apparent when you're trying to raise children. I've met many people who are divorced for this exact reason. This is something that was blatantly obvious up front. Other such values could be surrounding family, health and wellness, and now more than ever, politics. Now, no one is going to match all of your values exactly, but you have to decide what's most important to you. At Luma, we have our clients go through a values assessment to help them determine what their core values are. They can weigh each of their values against each other in order to get a ranking. This in turn helps us to match people and helps our clients to recognize what is most important to them. So what are your values? Write them down and when you're considering dating someone, be sure to hold true to your belief system. Hi, I'm April Davis, matchmaker and dating coach with Luma Luxury Matchmaking. Today we're going to be discussing small lies and their impact on your relationship. Small lies tend to become bigger secrets over time, and while it may seem more convenient at the start of a relationship not to disclose certain aspects of yourself, lying by omission, the amount of stress you put on yourself with this secrecy will build over time and create more distance between you and your partner as the relationship progresses. Not to mention needing to remember that lie and the cover-up lies that follow. For instance, a small lie like, I want to get married someday, will escalate into a huge problem down the line when your partner realizes that you don't actually believe in monogamy and you aren't actually interested in this type of commitment. It's better for both of you to disclose information at the beginning of a relationship. This not only spares hurt feelings and confusion, but also doesn't waste anyone's time. Do you think small white lies are no big deal or are they a real issue? Share what you think in the comments below. And today we're going to be discussing one of the most important issues in relationships, money. Money is one of the most cited reasons for divorce. So making sure you're compatible when it comes to finances should play a critical role in the process of dating someone. When we're evaluating potential matches, money is one of the factors that plays a huge role in that evaluation. It doesn't make sense to move forward with a partner that has different values and goals than you. They say that if you want to know where someone's heart is, look at their wallet. Maybe your partner values quality time together and spends their money going out to dinner and other events with you. Or maybe they're putting it in a savings account for a big trip somewhere down the road. Figure out if you're able to align your goals and once in a full-blown relationship, regularly discuss the big goals that you two have and how you can get there with your combined finances. If you don't have those upfront conversations in the beginning, you most certainly will at the end. And we know how all of that goes. Do you have any other ideas or suggestions for couples dealing with the money issue? If so, leave them in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. See you next time.